what's up? Um, so today I'm doing a video and I'm partnering with Kin Community, which is my network. Um, and so I'm partnering with like a bunch of different creators in the network and we are all coming together to make a playlist, I guess, of different videos to help you get healthier. On April 7th is World Health Day and summer's coming up. So I feel like everyone's kind of in the mindset of like getting healthier, just feeling better, you know, feeling fresher and not so like dark and dreary because <laughs> winter is now over. Um, you might've come from their channels to my channel to see, so if so, hi, um, but everything will be linked down below to check out their videos and that playlist and all that good stuff. In my video, as you can tell by the title, is just five simple, easy, and realistic tips to have a healthier lifestyle. So let's just uh, jump right into it in my workout clothes because I'm gonna go work out after this. So tip number one is drink more water. And <laughs> I feel like this is the tip that everyone gives, but it's just so necessary. Your body's made up of like 60% water. So you need to replenish that water. You need to, you just need to give your body the water that it needs and you'll just feel so much better. You'll have so much more energy. And if you don't like water, add some lemon to it. I drink lemon water every morning. Lemon's a great little metabolism kickstarter, especially in the mornings. And it'll add some flavor to your water as well. But drinking water is very, very important. Tip number two. If you're a big snacker, don't snack on unhealthy items like chips and chocolate bars and all that. Just grab some like carrots and hummus or pita and hummus or anything like that and just kick out the old unhealthy snacks. Bring in some healthy snacks. You can still eat and still have food and satisfy your cravings, but without the unhealthy saturated processed fats and ugh. Tip number three is to meditate. This is a hard tip. Getting in the hang of meditation can be a difficult one. It's definitely a practice, but you will honestly feel so much better in your body and your spirit and your mind. And there's so many great apps and books to help you start meditating. But if you suffer from anxiety or, you know, you overreact or anything like that, meditation can just really calm you down and give you a nice 10 minute break, mental break from the day. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I have a whole blog post up on meditation, so you can also check that out and to help you kind of get into it. But I meditate every day and it has honestly changed my life. Tip number four is exercise. Now, this doesn't have to be going to the gym. I personally like going to the gym, but just find something you enjoy. You could do like those soul cycle classes or you could go for hikes or ride a bike or do a class at a gym. You know, there's so many different ways to exercise. You don't have to go to the gym and lift weights, um, but just make sure you're getting your heart rate up, being active, and you will feel so much better. And my last tip, tip number five, is get enough sleep. I think when you're tired, you make a lot of unhealthy choices and it's just harder to make those like good, healthy decisions. So just get enough sleep, get your seven to eight hours or whatever your body needs. Um, there's a great, app called sleep cycle that will actually help you wake you up uh and so you don't feel when you wake up you don't feel like all groggy and gross um so definitely get enough sleep your body needs it and i actually have a pro tip for you guys pro tip don't drink alcohol during the week alcohol is literally so bad for you so instead of like going for a beer after work like you come home and you crack open a beer like have a water or have something healthier alcohol is not good for you obviously you can have your occasional drink, you can drink on the weekends. Like I'm not saying cut alcohol out completely, but try to cut back a bit. And I think you'll feel a lot better because even if you have a few drinks and then you don't think you're drunk or anything the next morning, your body's still trying to process that alcohol out of your system and you're not going to feel the best that you could feel. So cut back on the alcohol, cut in on the water <laughs> and you'll feel so much better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Make sure to check out the other creators' videos and you have a whole well-rounded playlist on how to get a healthy kickstart to the summer and World Health Day. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Peace and love.